two changes from the team that lost to Illawarra last week, and they're certainly welcome ones for Stephen Peters and MacArthur Rams fans, with Beth Gordon returning from suspension and Mel Caceres also back into the side. Indy Bryad and Erin Gordon both drop out of the squad entirely to make way for them. Finding players and linking up play, as she does here with Bronte True, who has space to operate on the wing. Looking to cut it back and return the favour for Brown. And that flashes wide of Talia Franco's goal, but a nice chance there. Slightly missing right now for Sydney Uni. That final pass forward as here is True. Sosai has decided to overlap. Instead, she goes towards Sunaga. Nice control onto the chest and volley, but again, safe hands there by Talia Franco. Now the Rams make their move. It's an in-swing delivery onto the keeper and headed clear there by Feeney. It'll go out for another corner. Tanellis has to do it all on her own and wins it back for herself and can get the other side of Sosai has Pritchard and Longhurst in the box looking for Pritchard who slid through, but McComiskey was well positioned to deal with it and there was... Hey, went in strong and might just be caught out of position here. Capitanellis has Longhurst with her. Capitanellis goes herself. And a good save down to her right. Morrissey had to be quick and she was backpedaling as well. Patch of dirt in the middle. Here is Caceres. Now True racing towards the wing, getting towards the byline. Bronte True, fingertips to it by Franco. Sunaga couldn't make it work. Here is Brown, still here for the Rams. Brown dancing through the box. Kelly Brown and too many blue and gold. Saw Capitanellis coming. Ilioski tried to reach, but might have left herself exposed as True puts it towards Brown. What a save by Franco, but it's tapped in by Sunaga. And the Rams, for all their pressure, it's paid off. Been too easy to disrupt for the Rams. And that's the end of the half here. It's the Rams who go in with the advantage, courtesy of Miku Sunaga's goal just a few minutes ago. Caceres has her head up and drives towards the box herself, looking to go through defenders. Caceres has done well here, cutting it back, headed on goal. Great save again by Franco, off the post for Breyer. And somehow the Rams have not made it 2-0. Again, it's Talia Franco who's made a fantastic save on the line. Lovely release pass by Gordon. And here is Breyer, has True moving towards the back post. Goes herself inside, inside Breyer, puts it on goal, but again... Too easy there for Talia Franco, but that's some nice involvement there by the substitute. Four in the wall for Morrissey. Capitanellis runs over it. Galich puts it on goal and flashing. This time it goes near post and it's almost crept in. It's cleared off the line. I think that's Bertolisio. Almost playing with a back five of their own now. Are the Rams Sosai? And they might still get forward here. A chance for the second maybe here for the Rams. Breyer. Has Sunaga centrally. Cuts inside Indy Breyer. Onto her right foot. And only into the arms of Talia Franco. Capitanellis goes for it. And it rolls through. And Morris is there. And makes a great save. And the referee hasn't whistled for full time. I think it was just... I think Amelia Feeney who threw everything at trying to get to that cross. And threw herself... At the post. And in the end, it is full time. And so the Rams walk away with a hard-fought victory away from home. A victory that reverses their tough run as of late. And one that might see them into the top four. We'll see how the rest of the weekend shapes out.